The reason why we are going through coming out of the emotional dark age is not because negative emotions make us experience pain, but because when we have negative emotions, such as jealousy or hatred or envy, and instead of taking it inside of ourselves, recognizing that it has to do with our own feelings of being rejected. It has nothing to do with the other person. But the reason why that feels so dark and painful is because by focusing on that, you are literally deactivating your DNA, literally deactivating your consciousness, your light body. And your DNA is what connects you to remembering, remembering the truth of who you are. Because our DNA is a blueprint, a code, with beautiful secrets that live within all of us, that hold our unique puzzle piece. So there is no reason why you need to be jealous or envious of any other person. There is no need for you to con control or try to compare yourself to another. We are shifting out of the level of consciousness that is linear. And in our human perspectives, as we speak, a place of reality that is not linear is just a concept that we are just barely grasping. But as we continue our expansion of awareness and integrate our negative emotions to activate our DNA strands of memory within our DNA, we are rising and shifting from this 3D linear perspective that holds us in the darkness. See, the darkness, the reason why it has such a bad rap is because it adds to death. It adds to negative entities. Your thoughts with enough focus become matter. I've always felt that when we gossip behind another's back at the core of my being I've always felt like this is so wrong and now that I know it is because it only takes you and two other people focused upon the same thought in order to create an entity a life force energy in and of itself and if you are focused upon negativity and jealousy and destroying another person, which is death. You are creating the darkness in which you are afraid of. The darkness in which you seek to get away from. So it isn't just about law of attraction and your thoughts are creating or pulling what you fear close to you. No, you are actually creating the thought forms in which you are afraid of. You are creating entities that can possess human bodies. But understand it is your thoughts and you're focused upon it and you're gathering together of others to focus on those negative thoughts. Understand that that feeling of it's not even a relief. You are feeding the darkness. And that might feel easier than going within and finding that space and place within you that is feeling rejected. And allow yourself to process those emotions and hold your inner child and not reject your own feelings in that moment by abandoning them and distracting yourself or projecting them onto another, but by actually turning the focus inside, processing and integrating. You are moving with and allowing your consciousness and your expansion, your awareness to be added to the collective. And what I mean by the collective, the collective consciousness of light, light workers, star seeds, earth guardians, earth angels, crystals, 
rainbows in all of the Federation of Light that is here to activate the crystalline DNA within the human collective consciousness that has been suppressed and asleep, restricted and denied because of your own allowing of yourself to feed the darkness. So don't just brush it off. When you go to gossip with a another person, don't feel like it's just something that you can brush off. When you start to see those things that you've been gossiping manifest physically around you, understand that from now on, you created that. You gave that darkness, life, force, energy. It isn't about being good to somehow be validated by some almighty God so that you can get into heaven. Or praying to a God for your hopes, dreams, and wishes that you don't even believe that you can ever get. Because you believe that you are not worthy. You believe that you are limited. You have forgotten your divinity. Allow this transition of light to be an activation for your memory. To remember your divinity. We have gotten a wave of consciousness regarding the Twin Flame Union. Understand that you feel so strongly connected to Twin Flame because that is what birthed your soul. You are the daughter who was created by the flame. You are the consciousness of the Divine Feminine. You are a group, soul. You are not going to find one other person on this planet that is your other half because you are all one collective group soul. Here to activate the grid that links our DNA when you die. All of the things that you, all of the emotions that you've experienced in this physical manifestation, you will re-experience in death in order to learn from. As light workers to the Federation of Light, you have the ability to integrate and experience fully your emotions and not have to die to get the learning or the awareness from those emotional blueprints, imprints within your DNA. Everything that has been suppressed and repressed and denied and rejected within your ancestral line, you are here to clear. So though it may be very painful that you have chosen to have an experience that is a lot more difficult than maybe a brother, or sister, or neighbor, or cousin, or whatever the case may be, to whoever that you are comparing yourself to, understand that the only reason why you're experiencing such a painful existence is because you came, you chose to heal that entire ancestral line. Because you are so incredibly powerful. Because you are so incredibly amazing. And because you are able to take in all of that information without 
completely vibrating out of this physical dimension. So, understand how incredibly amazing you are. If you're pointing your fingers at the outside, at the outside, and you are making your world very small in order to keep yourself safe, understand that there's a reason why there's a concept of heaven or hell after death. It's all about a choice that you have. It has to do with the way you treat other people, with how closely you come to remembering that we are all once when we die and we are in our life review in order to learn from our physical manifestation. We don't only experience what our soul's emotional imprints are and were throughout the course of our physical life. We also experience what others experienced interacting with us. So remember that. Remember that it's a choice. If you choose to be destructive and self-fulfilling and continue to create conspiracy that wars against each other, then just understand and declare you are literally creating the thing that you are raging against. So if you desire to not have the scary things that you need to be afraid of on the outside, then choose to be of service. When you are having a meeting of minds, make it about connecting and loving and expanding and helping one another because that is you. And it only takes three individual consciousness that are physically manifested focusing upon the same thought to create a living entity. And that entity can be a worker of the light or a worker of the dark, depending on was it service to self or service to others? Was it life giving or life taking? I ask you to please join me in being a worker of the light. I'm sending you all love, healing, activation, and asking that you stand together now. Stand together in continuing your process of self-expansion healing, integration, understanding, awareness, working together, understanding that we are shifting timelines and what that means is that we are ending, shifting out of a linear perspective. And while you may be able to conceptualize of time not existing in every dimension of consciousness being available to us now and it all happening now. It's just a concept at this point. Don't allow fear to interrupt your process. 
listen to your emotions and try to feel yourself opening your heart space every time you have a negative emotion understand that it is just coming from somewhere inside of you that feels rejected because ultimately that is the most feared emotion of our human collective because it is the exact opposite of what we truly are which is one unity consciousness this is Kendra the divine purpose mentor I love you all have a good day